Another Kardashian baby is on the way. Soldier Boy is coming for everyone, literally. And future, shut up. Back to reality. Stay tuned. Oh. Okay. Well. Wow. Hey. 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 Nope. <laughs> no. Hey. That was a cute little remix. Like, thank you. Next, and then it's like, bye, bitch. Bye, bye bitch. bitch. Hi, bye, bitch. bitch. <laughs> hey. hey, bitches. Happy Sunday. I am your girl, Nakia Monet, kicking off this long and beautiful MLK weekend. Shout out to the people. Uh, welcome to Back to Reality. I am joined by my favorite co host in the whole world. What's up, everybody? It's Howard the Third. Oh, so happy to be here. You know, I love this show. Hanging out with Nakia. Uh, the best. Yes, I love you. I, I love, love you Sundays. More. I love coming here. Uh, because we're just crazy. I know. We're nuts. And shout out to everyone who's been watching us, showing us love. Yes, shout out to all the love. Our, me and Nakia's little show that could <laughs> is just chugging along. And we just thank you guys so much. Yeah, we love you guys for the support and the constant love. And everybody in the comments, people mm -hmm. starting to write us in the comments. So, hey, y'all. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. We love you. <laughs> Happy that you're here with us in all our craziness. <laughs> so, for those who don't know, for those who even do know, wait, before we get started, hold on. Howard, how's your weekend going? Oh, oh yeah. Silly me. What's wrong with me? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Nikki? What's wrong with me? <laughs> Ask me how my weekend is. <laughs> <laughs> my weekend was good. You know, I went out with some friends, you know, twerked a little something, and it was good. Relaxing. What about you? My weekend was good. You know, I went roller skating yesterday for some of our girls' Ooh, birthdays. Yes. My body is sore, so I am officially old. <laughs> um, but I had a really good weekend. This has been really relaxing, and tomorrow I'm gonna take a break and just relax and yeah, sleep. That's Ciao. what we all need. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much going on. It's so much going on in the world of reality TV. So let's get into it. Let's start with our first segment: moments of the week. Moments oh. like this, when it's time to hey. get ill, we we'll be so ahead Ow. of time. Ow. Ow. I think we could just twerk to them. Hey. All right, kids. <laughs> for those who don't know, moments of the week is just Howard and I giving you guys an update all the crazy moments that's been happening this weekend on social media. Howard, take it away. Yes. Yeah, so as we know guys or as you may not know soldier boy <laughs> rapper reality tv star he's coming for his checks everybody put some respect on soldier boy's name so the rapper stopped by the breakfast club which is a popular little podcast show on youtube with Charlemagne the god angela lee dj mb great he went over there and talked about how drake stole his flow yes baby so soldier soldier boy has been saying drake stole his flow he's also been saying that he had the biggest comeback of this year or 2018 that tiger wasn't it and he's just been really voicing his opinion lately i love it mm. so we have a little clip of what he's been talking about take a look and a listen why did me i have a bigger comeback than soldier boy <laughs> it's my what, me personally why because he was locked up yes okay See? i was locked up too <laughs> I, I was locked up too. The Drake beef. <laughs> yo, Look how he yo, Meek Mill ain't beef with Chris Brown and was finna box with Floyd Mayweather. He would be with Drake. Legend. The biggest rapper in the world. Legend. <laughs> Drake. 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 <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> got body by Pusha T. And this kid hiding his kid from the world. This world wanna hide from the kid. Bars. Bobby Graham in a wheelchair. Drake. Yeah. Drake. <laughs> Stop playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> like I ain't teach Drake everything he knows. Hold on, you taught Drake everything he knows. Yo, legend. Drake on his first song. Tell me what's really going on. Drake in the back end. What happened? That was my soldier. He copied my whole. Yo, Charlamagne is gassing this. Flow. Word for word. Bar for bar. Make Drake. Don't do that. Oh my gosh, so uh, I, you, you can see he's been coming for everybody. Came for Kanye, Drake, Meek Mill. Ariana Grande recently. Oh yes. <laughs> I mean, what are your thoughts? Do you think Soulja Boy really like paved the way? He Listen, was one of the first rappers to do this whole social media thing. He did. Like though mm -hmm. Big Draco's a little crazy. We mm -hmm. all love Soulja Boy, but Soulja Boy is actually spitting facts. He was the original troll before there was a Takashi 6 9 Takashi kind of stole his blueprint. Yeah. He was the first rapper who did this whole internet thing. He, I feel like he invented FaceTime with Kiss Me Through the Phone. I can see that, yeah. You know, the ringtones. Like, oh, yeah. And remember, he was like 17 when he started. So Soldier's Boy's only still in his 20s. He's speaking all facts, but I just feel like he knows how to entertain yeah. and he knows what's gonna be clickbait. So him doing like the Drake, <laughs> Drake, Drake or Tyga, <laughs> he's funny. He even called out Ariana Grande, so I thought that was hilarious. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. <laughs> but you know, we live 
for it. We love it. Speaking <laughs> of a mess, the Kardashians. Oh, man. We love the Kardashians. <laughs> the girls were on a uh, late night with Andy Cohen, and I love him to death. He's pretty awesome. Yeah. And, you know, every time the Kardashians are around, the number one question that they're always asked, and I know they're sick of this, is, How's the beef with you and Black China? Oh my God! What's going on with you and Black China? And of it's course, Andy Cohen asks them where they stand on this beef, and we have a video. So take a listen. Russians versus Black China. Where do you guys stand with Black China today? Um, still in a lawsuit. A home still in a lawsuit. I'm I'm Courtney. The lawsuit had been. I thought hers had been tossed. I'm out. Courtney drinking. I honestly don't. We don't know. We, we don't care. <laughs> we can't we keep up. We you, yeah. The Kardashians can't keep up. On. Kim and Chloe Courtney, versus Amber home. Rose. This has spanned for years. Do you guys think Ooh, this is squashed? I don't even think there was. Beef. Yeah. No. No. no your husband was just obsessed with his ex-girlfriend. Exactly. Fine. But. I mean, totally. I'm, I'm yeah. 2019. Okay, good. Chloe, Chloe please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love that they're like, we don't care. You don't care because Black China's supposedly won in that lawsuit. That's what I'm saying. Apparently, they're going to go to court in February next month. I'm just saying. So. I love all the girls. I just wish they can get along. And it's sad because, you know, this was Rob's doing. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was Kylie Jenner's doing. And Tyga, actually, yeah. they started this whole domino effect. And I just feel like everyone should be able to get a bag together. Even my good sis, Black China. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? Work together. Come on. But Kourtney Kardashian is a mood. I know. <laughs> Didn't say nothing except her drink. It was out of it. She doesn't care. Neither <laughs> do. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Love you, girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this week on Marriage Boot Camp, Little Mo, singer reality star, <laughs> is up there. Oh, she's a mess, but a we mess. love her. Up there talking crazy about her husband. Um, he's the uh, a former boxer. His name is Kyle. Things got a little heated when, sorry, Carl feels like little Mo disrespects him and doesn't really appreciate him much. Which, you know, if you saw them on Love and Hip Hop New York, you could see they had a little tussle back and forth. <laughs> but we have a clip of them on Marriage Boot Camp. So take a look and a listen. She said yes. everything you have. He's so cute, he but dirty. His life without me would be <laughs> the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. You said that. She knows that's not true. Yeah. She can say whatever she wants. Ooh. Anybody in my house respects me. Anybody I respect you, daddy. Anybody respects me. Feel like she, respects me. Respects she knows, she don't. Ooh. He's younger than her. She respects mm -hmm. me. And if we were to not be together, I would be fine. I could take care of myself. Ain't this her sixth husband? He's, he's, he hasn't 14. been taught to love. He's I mean, taught to survive. I mean, is that, I have my own money. So she <laughs> has my own money. <laughs> I have my everything. So I, I don't want everybody to think, oh, she did. So, oh, because I'm here because of this. Show us that. And I am I somebody. <laughs> Does she make you feel like somebody? Hell no. Ooh. I'm not no child. Oh. Just stop acting no, like that. stop talking to me oh. like I'm a child. Like what? Ooh. Ooh. Grab my neck. Oh? You may not need him for the money piece, <laughs> but what you Whoa. gotta let him know is, hey, you know what? Wow. What I need you for is the emotional support. Oh. Whoa. That's a little spicy. He doesn't feel respected. Stop talking to him like a child. Don't talk to him like a child. Oh. What I do love, though, little Mo, she holds her ground. She's she does. not playing. But he, you know, because he's younger than Mo. Mm -hmm. This is what I think her third uh, marriage. She has a yeah. lot of kids. So I don't know if she like, feels like she's mothering him. And mm -hmm. he probably feels that way because she's an older woman. So um, I hope mm -hmm. they're working out. I know. I mean, they still <laughs> seem like they're in love. So He cute. I see yeah. it, Lil Mo. Mm -hmm. Me. And also, I loved her first album. This is really random. <laughs> Her first album I had in high school, and I mm -hmm. felt like a little superwoman because I had my braids with the blue in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, another story. <laughs> we'll talk about that later a little more. Baby, yeah. Black people, we never know the word. We never know the word. Woman. That's yes. all we knew, okay? Fabulous. There we go. <laughs> okay, singing about another mess, one of my other favorite shows, Floor Bama Shore. Yeah. Just a hot mess, child. I will say the, the sister version of Jersey Shore, but the younger... <laughs> Yeah. Nastier version. Uh, Flora Bama <laughs> Shore, your girl Courtney, was out having a good time, but she got into a lot of drama on this episode. So she decided to get drunk and head to the bar with her friends. But, you know, you know, you usually go to the bar and you get drunk and you make out with some really cool people. Uh, she took it a step further and made out with someone who was old enough to be her grandmother. Take a look and a listen, y'all. <laughs> oh, I've been 30 years ago. You were about wild as they go. Whoa. How wild were you? Oh, my God. Whoa! Oh. Ew! Oh, okay. <laughs> so this older lady was like talking about me to Carrie, Ew. and oh, no, girl. <laughs> I decided to just grab girl, her and make out. Girl, no! Her. I mean, 
that's not a good one. That can be your and mom. It's sexy, right? No, it's not. That's how nasty You're they are. <laughs> are you my wing woman? Am I a good kisser? But low key, I'm that old lady. <laughs> That's gonna be me in 20 years. Oh, oh, that she was just going back for more. Courtney's making out that old lady. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't even imagine kissing a old lady oh. that's old enough to be my grandma. Exactly. Look, look, look. No. She made out with who? Look. Whose wife is that? Courtney's making out with the old lady. Yo. <laughs> She's a mess, and then she went on to make out with the guy she was with earlier. Oh. Then she met out with another girl. Oh. Like Courtney. That's a lot, a lot of mono going around. Oh. Remember mono? <laughs> Remember in high school they used to send out letters <laughs> like your kids may have mono. <laughs> I'd be like, not me, mom. I'm not kissing anybody. <laughs> Courtney nasty. She's nasty. Ew. Have you ever made out with anybody older? No, I mean, not grandma status. <laughs> <laughs> not like sugar, sugar mamas. Nobody and... over the age of like 40. <laughs> that's nasty. That's like yeah. Hugh Hefner, God bless the dead. But that's <sighs> that's just to me personally, like there's nothing wrong. Like if you're older and you want to make up with the older person. Right. But I just feel like when you're young, making out with the older person, like, ew, that's like making out with your elder. Yeah. I just feel old people are like babies. You just don't. <laughs> You just, they so innocent. You don't touch them. Exactly. Corny, you're nasty. <laughs> All right, kids. Speaking about getting nasty, let's get into our next segment, social media. But first, let me check a selfie. Yes, yes. Social, social, media, media. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> I need to take a nap. All right, this is a segment that Howard and I, we like to give you guys updates of what's been going on on social media because our favorite reality stars and celebrities love going on their social and love spilling all the tea. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give it to you. Howard, take it away. Yes. Yeah, so in this week of social media, Black China and Alexis Sky. Oh, Lord. So these two reality <laughs> ladies just cannot seem to get along. So here we are. They're at a party, you know, vibing and stuff. Alexis Sky claims that China invited her over to her section, which was cool, calm, and collected. They took some drinks, took a few shots. Everybody was cool. Next thing you know, Alexis alleges that China just started going crazy. <laughs> out of nowhere, started yelling at her and then said, bitch, you need to get up out my section. Ooh! Yes. I love that type of petty. Okay. <laughs> So then here goes um, Alexis Sky. She said, what? What's going on? You know? And she was like, you need to leave. Apparently, China throws a drink on her. Yeah. What? And Alexis Sky said, once she start throwing drinks, she start throwing hands. That's a fact. So we have a <laughs> clip of somebody who was inside the party. Ooh. So take a look and a listen. <laughs> Ooh, child. So this clip, China will walk first in the white. Look at China. Look, and I Alexis love her. Sky almost Unbothered. got the hair. Unbothered. Turns around. May I help you? <laughs> oh no, okay, peasant. Keep walking, keep walking. 50 people holding you back, no one's holding me. Where are they from? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Got a nice little house. <laughs> Ruining the ambiance. Right. What are your thoughts on this whole, like, China, Rob, Alexis it's guy a thing? a whole mess because then Rob posted a picture saying Woman Cuts Wednesday on Alexis Sky after this video came out. He need his ass beat. He does. And then had enough. Now, why I've known Alexis Sky for three years? I'm sorry. Since when? Facts. Where, where are the pictures? Where are the receipts? When were you hanging out with Alexis Sky, Rob? Rob. As Joe Budden said, he's no longer a Kardashian. He's Rob Clark. He's not a Kardashian <laughs> anymore. Robert Clark. Um, it's crazy because of what I heard allegedly, child, uh -oh. that Black China really did that because, so remember when Rob had unleashed all her news and was dragging Black China? Right. Alexis Sky put her cute little nose in the business and was like, Team Rob. Oh, no. Hashtag, and I think... China is my type of petty where we don't ever forget. <laughs> and it's been years. And I feel like China's been holding on to this and was like, when I see that girl, yeah. and when she seen her, she threw the drink, and then she's cooking at Rob's house, and Rob's like, this is That's my friend. That's what I'm saying. But my whole thing is, China, if you're brave enough to throw the drink, That's throw the hand. That's a fact, too. Don't run away. Because as soon as you throw some drinks, it's on and popping. Like, you don't do that, then, oh, security, come help me. That's no, boo. True. We squabbling right there. We gonna fight. Mm. Who you got? <laughs> One corner we oh, got. Oh, be a good fight. Alexis Sky coming in at probably 100 pounds because she's so tiny. I know. And this corner, we have Black China coming in at, like, 110, another skinny little girl. I know. Who you got? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it to Alexis. You give it to Alexis? I feel like she would really, like, it'd be good down dirty. I'm giving it to Black China. To China? Black okay. China's from the DMV. She's a little nutty. You seen her when she was coming for Rob and all the Kardashians. I feel like 
she will probably cut Alexis guy. You know, you're probably right because China was going crazy at Six Flags. Remember Are that you... video? She tried to throw Dreams little. <laughs> <laughs> she threw the stroller. Threw the stroller. <laughs> I feel like that's her throwing Alexis guy. <laughs> Again, I just want these girls to get along. They're yeah. just too beautiful. And I, I feel like they could be getting a bag together. That's what And I'm it's saying. no need to beef. And because I just feel like people already look at them and be like, oh, they ratchet in this. And it's mm -hmm. like, no, girl. And they have a lot in common. They both try to do the rap thing, both reality stars, both baby mamas. So... I was going to say both famous <laughs> baby daddies. <laughs> Get they together. Both, they both post for Fashion Nova, maybe? Oh, yeah. Listen, y'all, get it together. Uh, speaking <laughs> of getting it together, the queen of getting it together, Ilyanla. Is that you say Ilyanla? <laughs> Ilyanla, fix your life. Uh, she was on Sway in the Morning. Shout out to Sway in the Morning. Shout out. Um, that's one of my favorite shows. Mm. Uh, and she was talking about R. Kelly. So, you know, R. Ooh. Kelly's been in the media all over, child. RCA done dropped uh, him. Over. Sony dropped him. And everyone uh, is talking about him. So, Sway asked, and Ilyanla actually said that R. Kelly approached her for some help. Wow. And she gave her answer on Sway in the Morning. Let's take a listen. Mm. But maybe season seven, you could sit down with R. Kelly. You know what? Let me just be in full disclosure. Yeah. He came to us. He approached us. Imagine Jeez. him on the show. Yeah. That'd be Before crazy. Before this thing came out. Uh-huh. In the summer. Mm. He doesn't have the capacity. Mm. He doesn't wow. have the capacity to go through the process. And it would be exploitive okay. and, mm. and unloving to try to force him to see what he can't see, hear what he can't hear, mm -hmm. understand what he just doesn't understand. He doesn't have the capacity. He's sick, that's what I'm saying to yeah. you. Yeah. Uh -huh. he He's is. not well. Right. Uh -huh. You know, not to the, to the degree on the same continuum mm -hmm. as a Dr. Bill Cosby, uh -huh. who really wasn't well. Not we yet. think he should have known better because he had money and he was famous. And, mm -hmm. But there's a sickness. It is. There's a sickness there. It is. You know why you're sick? Yeah. You're sick if you think you can get away with putting pills in people's drinks <laughs> and think that that's okay. Exactly. That's nuts. Like, oh, can I you know. imagine him on Iyanla? <laughs> Fix your life. <laughs> that's our way of saying I can never pronounce her name. Iyanla. Oh my Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see her say that to R. Kelly. Like, R. Kelly, you know who was doing the, what did she say when she was like, you know who was smacking their booties? Harry Tubman and the. <laughs> Read those lyrics. Read them. Read you them. You know who was trying to bump and grind? Harriet Tubman trying to bump and grind her way through the underground river, underground tunnel. <laughs> That's who was doing it. <laughs> I would love for him to be in there, but she's right. He's very sick. and But that also doesn't excuse everything that he did because there's True. a lot of people who went through trauma and it does, that's just not an excuse. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he doesn't. I don't. I really think, because the fact that after this documentary came out, this man was in a Chicago club and still yeah. singing and people were loving up on mm -hmm. him. I really don't think that he gets... <laughs> what's happening here? I don't think so either. Until, like, Sony had to do what was drop him, now he can see it. Mm. We start stopping his bag, he gonna understand. He's sick. Mm -hmm. Not on my watch! <laughs> <laughs> She's great, man. Oh, man. Okay, so let's move on to Jocelyn. <laughs> oh, I love her. Jocelyn Hernandez, baby, from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. The um, queen. The queen. She is supposed to be having a new boo. Ooh, mm. No more Stevie? No more Stevie, do you love me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go back to the strip club, baby. I'm not going to go back to the strip club. <laughs> you can't send me back, Stevie. You say I'm sending me back. I was like, Stevie, don't you say her back. <laughs> Love her. So she posted on her Instagram of her and her new boo with the title caption, Stevie, did you ever really love me? Ooh. Boats, bitches, blunts, wild night. Is she jealous of the new marriage that Stevie has with Ooh. Faith? Hmm. I think so. Because here's my thing. If you're posting a photo with your new boo, why is Stevie even in your caption? Mm -hmm. And I think she thought... He was never going to like leave her, leave her. I think so. And too. he seems pretty in love with Faith Evans. Yeah. I didn't think I'd see the day. See her boo. Oh, he cute. Why he cute? Hey, chocolate. Ew. <laughs> but why is Stevie in? And why are you adding Stevie J? Yes. Who does that? Because she probably didn't think that Faith was in competition. Because mm -hmm. remember when they met on the show, she was like, okay, you know, you can work with Faith. He's not gonna leave me for Faith. 
Next thing you know, bye. He left you for Faith. <laughs> and listen, he's known Faith more than Faith for over 20 something years. Right. You know, CBJ, for those who don't know, is part of Diddy's uh, producing team. Mm -hmm. CBJ has made so many bops, so many hits. Yeah. Well, for Mariah Carey, like him and Faith have known each other. And I've seen them in person Ooh. at an event. When I say they're in love, I thought this was, all, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was fake. I was I like, this so is too. horrible. And I still do. He, I can't, it still can be, yeah. but he was like really on fade. Really? Like, they were like a real married couple. Hmm. So maybe Jocelyn's feeling it. I mean, I guess. Maybe Jocelyn wants to love that he's showing the faith, show to her. But if you're the new guy, how you feeling if she has you up there that's and you put true. Stevie under there? Yeah, that'd be messed up. Stab her. <laughs> I gotta relax all this stabbing. I love everybody. We don't condone violence over here, BJ, or back to reality. All right, speaking of back to reality, <laughs> uh, everyone's been doing this really cool challenge of the new year, the hashtag 10 year challenge. Okay. Everyone's been putting up some pictures. I've been doing it. See what you look like 2018. Mm -hmm. You did it. Uh, but I feel like the winner of the 10 year challenge is Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, that's right. The reality star Caitlyn Jenner joined the new challenge movement um, and posted an old, form when, uh, old photo when she was formerly known as Bruce Jenner. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Caitlyn wrote, that is a 10-year challenge. Be authentic to yourself. Go ahead, Caitlyn. That was pretty cool. That was. I love it, man. And I like people will say things like, oh, people who are usually trans, why do they put their old photos? And I'm like, you have to understand something. Like, they know who they were. They loved who they were, but right. that wasn't right for them, and it mm -hmm. wasn't the right fit. And now they are who they are today, and they acknowledge right. who they were in their... And I think that's okay, and it's fine, everybody. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Shout out to Caitlyn Jenner. Shout out to you, Caitlyn. Pretty cool. All right, kids, let's get into our next segment, News and Gossip Flash and Live. Flash and Live. Take a photo, hey, 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 uh, uh, pose. Hey, pose, yes. Hi, sip that. <laughs> for those who can't see us because we're nuts and just listening to us on like Spotify and iTunes Howard and I we just like to have like a little dance break between and Howard was posing for the camera alright guys uh, this is news and gossip flash and lights we like to give you guys an update of all the tea that has been spilling over the week and I feel like this has been a very busy week right very busy week so much and social media um let's see Howard Kick us off. Yes. Yeah, so back to our Kardashian girls. Hey, girls. Hey, y'all. So Kim Kardashian was still on uh, Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, and she finally confirmed that she is going to be expanding <gasps> her babe, her her family with a new baby. Ooh, another baby. <laughs> another baby. Baby Aww. number four. Yes. They're not playing in that West Not household. at all. Wow. She's going to have the baby via surrogate. And, you know, I, we have some thoughts on it. But before we talk about it, <laughs> let's talk. Let's take a look at this yes, video. Yes, we do, are child. Are you working on another child? We are. That's yes. great. Yes. Oh, we are. Do you have a today? Um, We do. Is it? It's sometime soon. Wow. Yeah. Andy knew that. That's why he asked. You know he did. Please. It's a boy. I mean, I think every... It's what? Yeah. <laughs> How do you leave my sister Courtney out? Y'all gonna stop leaving Courtney out of this. Didn't even wow. tell her, but yes, yeah, so she's it's gonna have the baby be a surrogate. Um, she's talked about how she wanted to expand her family, but she didn't know if it was the right time. Her other baby, uh, Chicago, who was also delivered to be a surrogate, Beautiful. just celebrated her first birthday. So now they're just uh, going on. I mean, congrats. <laughs> I, I guess if you have the money, have the baby, right? If you right? have the money, have the baby. She loves kids, and she's always wanted a big family, so I think mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's interesting. She's gonna have three kids like under the age of like five. Yeah. Um, North is gonna have, have be a busy big sister, <laughs> but I think it's beautiful. I just hope that um, we don't hear from Kanye West. Oh. But shout out to Kim. she, and she looks good. First of all. The girl looks amazing. Amazing. I want to have a surrogate because if I could show up to my baby shower <laughs> set snatched like this girl, <laughs> it's pretty dope. And it's awesome because they're giving someone else like an opportunity too because I know surrogates mm. get paid a lot. So mm -hmm. shout out to the Kardashian West family. Look at y'all. All right. Speaking about family, child, <laughs> marriage and divorce, uh, your favorite R&B singer, Keisha Cole. I haven't heard from her in a while. Right. It's been her. a minute. Where are you, Keisha? Where you at, Keisha? Come on. Sent from heaven. I want to be the one who believes in our hardest <laughs> from heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Howard. 
Keisha, you need a Howard. You need to hire Howard. Thank you. I can do background. So it, it looks like the star who is married to Booby Gibson, but they've kind of been separated and they've been trying to get this divorce for a long time. Mm -hmm. Keisha has a new boo. Booby has a new boo. But it looks like legally they're still married. Oh no. Um, so it looks like she may have to so uh, stay married. The singer filed paperwork to divorce the former basketball player slash rapper. I don't know why you're rapping. Uh -huh. But since no one has signed the paperwork, the judge may throw it out. Keisha took the social media and she talks about how she really fell and she pretty much says I would love in all caps to move forward with this <laughs> this divorce the lawyer needs to change their positioning in the legal documents I'm not and she put capital N O T <laughs> giving him full custody nor capital N O R no damn spousal support I've asked him over and over to do this. The ball is in his court. No pun intended. Yes, he better read it, Nakia. Okay, I'm getting it from you. Because you know how we be reading the tweets and the Instagram. You let me know how Keisha sounds. <laughs> and not on my goddamn watch. You ain't getting no child support. <laughs> okay? Got the nerve to cheat. Think I'm going to give you some child support. I love you, Booby Gibson. We love you. But Ooh. shout out to them. But it looks like Booby, he then came on social media and he's like, look, this is not me. This is actually mm -hmm. the lawyers. Me and Keisha good. The lawyers are going to figure out I'm in a happy relationship. She's in a happy relationship. Okay. I don't want no money from her. So I'm happy that he did speak up and he's like, uh-uh, we good. So lawyers, get it together so these two ex-lovebirds can get a divorce. Get a divorce. <laughs> Throw this out. Stop and tying not. up. <laughs> <laughs> I am not giving you spousal support. <laughs> <laughs> Who child? Ooh, well, somebody who's not gonna be paying spousal support is Ooh. Waka Flocka. Hey. He's still married, y'all. I know we thought out there that it may not last, but it, that, you know they're going. Tammy and Waka Flocka from Marriage Boot Count, formerly mm -hmm. on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So Tammy has been, they've been married for five years. And after five years, Waka promised her a full-blown wedding because they ran off and eloped. Aww. So Tammy went to her social media. I mean, we just have a video here, but there's no sound. So I'm just going to read it to y'all. She said on her, uh, oh, sorry, on her <laughs> post, <laughs> she said, we'll be married for five years. We always said, um, if we survive the five-year curse, I will do the whole ceremony, mm -hmm. the rings, the wedding, the whole nine yards. And so pretty much now she's going to do a destination wedding. She's doing it on January 19th. So that's this weekend. Um, Look at she, that ring. I know. The ring is beautiful. And she said, ever since I seen the episode of Martin when him and Gina got married on the beach, that was my dream wedding. So Aww. they made it. They did do the whole shebang, family and all. That's beautiful. Shout out to the Flockas. Mm -hmm. And now they're on marriage boot camp working through everything and I like a couple that knows that they may have issues and they want to work towards the wedding mm -hmm. put in that work because that's what marriages are right. I know this because I'm not married but <laughs> <laughs> so I heard put in so the work but shout out to them we love them all right think about someone we love <laughs> bad baby hey <laughs> hey she's the young lady every time we come into and me and Howard are like hi bitch hi, hi bitch hi bitch, hi, bitch. Hi, Hi, bitch. <laughs> that crazy little young lady, the one that was on Dr. Phil cursing on her mama. That's right. Hey. Hey. Get it, get it. Hey. She be getting it for a 16 year old. She be getting it for a 16 year old. Well, the girl is making big moves. She just had a brand new album that came out, which is pretty Ooh. dope. Um, Which is pretty cool because the writer of her album was this young black lady. who <laughs> <laughs> We all kind of knew that Bad Baby wasn't writing any of her lyrics, but it's okay. <laughs> Because Britney is going to get some coins because now Bad Baby just signed a brand new makeup deal for six months. Child, and she is getting the deal for $900,000. Oh, Lord. Did you hear me? $900 American thousand dollars. <laughs> for six months. For six months. The 16-year-old rapper will team up with Copycat Makeup Company. Uh, give They will give us new eyeliners, glosses, lipsticks, just to name a few. Um, she's also the new face of Snapchat, girl. Mm -hmm. So she's getting a pretty coin album just came out 16 year old she's years old everywhere. how do you feel about her i mean she's i can't really like hate the grind yeah because we the internet pretty much made her you know yes we did she came from her memes and she was able to flip that into a music career where now she's known like pretty much throughout the world she was just in australia doing her thing mm -hmm. over there mm -hmm. she's making all these moves it's like dang i want to be mad but the but, business side, uh, she she handling business. And you know the thing is, like at first I was so like anti her. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh god, this Same little girl here. is just so annoying. I hate how she disrespected her mother. She ain't writing her rhymes. Mm. But then when I thought about it, when we were younger. Foxy Brown and Little Kim were also 16 years old. True. Now, though at times people thought they were older, they were also very young, but they wasn't cussing out their mamas on Dr. Phil. Right. And talking like she talks. But 
I do respect her grind and shout out to her. She's 16 years old and she's killing it. I just hope that this lasts long. Yeah. And I hope she, that's what I'm saying. Get another bag. So shout out to you, bad baby, bad, bad Bobby. Bad Bobby. Bad Bobby. And <laughs> continue being our theme song. We love you and that's why you're our theme song. Yes, girl. All right. Let's get into our next segment. Where are they at? Where they at, though? Hey, hey. Where they at, though? Where they, where they, where they at, though? Where you at? Where you at? Where they at though? Oh, that's like you on Netflix. That's random. Have you seen I you heard, on Netflix? I heard it's great. Child. I haven't seen it, but I heard it's great. Oh, it, no. It's for those who have not seen you. Please see you on Netflix. This is very random. This is not an ad. <laughs> I did not get paid by Netflix. I wish I did. Just please see it. Because when I said where they at, though, it's kind of stalkerish. So Ooh. it made me think of that. All right. Sorry. Howard, take it away. <laughs> So, one person who we've been missing is Abby O'Day. Aww. If you guys don't remember or don't know, Abby O'Day was on Celebrity Apprentice, but she's formerly from the show Making the Band and her uh, group, Danny D. Kane. They're still touring, and now she has her dumb blonde with her and Shannon from Danny D. Kane, where Abby was on stage at a concert, and she was giving a, a great little speech about how the music is coming out next month, and Dawn's music is coming out this month. Nice. And... Apparently, she had one too many because <laughs> after her speech, she was just trying to get back in formation, but something happened. Take a look and a listen. Oof, child. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Aubrey takes a tumble. Girl. She takes a tumble, gets up gracious, does a bow, and leaves. But the tumble was like... <laughs> Oh, oh, Somebody oh. was pushing her. <laughs> like she just lost you know complete that meme balance. of that boy who was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Shout out to Aubrey O'Day. Shout out to her. I and mean, she got back up. She's cute. She's ready, you know. Do you, did you ever have the Denny Kane album? Of course. Honey. I was a fan. <laughs> this was like early high school, maybe middle school. Oh, oh my gosh, I was a fan. I'm still am a fan of Danny. Same. Kane. I love Danny Kane. I got to meet them like randomly in a club when I was in Boston. Oh, I was like, ah, Abby, I love you. Their album, like, yeah. amazing. Shout out to you, Arby. We love Both you. Both albums are great. They're amazing. All right. Speaking about people who are not so amazing, let's get into our last segment. Oh, not our last segment. Sorry, our next to last segment: Villain of the Week. <laughs> So this segment, we like to tell you who who's being a jackass and the asshole of the week. And for those who don't know, you probably know if you've been watching social media, the asshole of the week is Future. Mm. Future, shut up, okay? <laughs> so Future this week uh, was promoting his brand new album, Wizard. Okay. It's an okay album. Oh. All right, it's good. But still. <laughs> um, but on his promo run, he happened to bring up, you know, Future has six baby mamas. So he decided to bring up one of the baby mamas, and that is Miss Sierra living her best life. And he also tried to throw her husband Russell under the bus child. Oh, uh, we do have a video, video, but the rapper was on a radio show recently um, and said that Sierra did not introduce him to Russell and her now husband and didn't tell him that he would be around his child. Let's take a, a look but at the video. Rules, uh, yeah. audio. So he think, oh, you should go to court, man. You better not show up for court. He kind of little. Sue him. You sue him for what? By him, nigga, I got money. Nigga, I'll take care of him for you sue him. Mm -hmm. If you feel like that, I'm going to take Nigga, I take care of kids. That ain't mine now. You think I ain't take I'm, I'm having money. Shut your I'm taking care of my kids. It ain't even that. It's just a mm -hmm. thing. I want to nitpick at you and do certain things. You know I'm taking care of my kids. What's the real issue? Mm -hmm. I felt that the fact. You done, you done already been around my kids when y'all started going together and when y'all first posted the first picture and I didn't even, and you, and you haven't mm -hmm. even talked to me. And then when y'all get married, Y'all would be like, she was like, I want you to meet Russell now, man. Y'all already done did all the damage. I don't want to meet him now. You're petty. Now y'all done did all the hate. damage. You supposed to met him before you even brought a kid around him. I ain't trying to Not be with your six baby mamas. I'm right here, kids. I ain't trying to. I'm, I'm not saying nothing to them and nothing. All due respect. All due respect. That's my love right. is for you, and, and I oh love through, I, through me loving you. I love your kids. But at the end of the day, I have no say so. Boy. Just a mess. How he do you feel about I'm sick of Future. Future is a mess. All Future does is talk about Sierra. Sierra addressed it once. They brought up a whole, like, an interview from way back where Sierra said, I've tried to talk to Future. I've tried to have Future in, um, introduce him to Russell. He said no. So it's like, Future, if this is your only way to promote your album, you need to find a whole new way, mm. a whole new publicist. Because you shouldn't be even talking about this exactly. on your press tour. Just a mess. It's like he's so bitter. Like, why yes. are you still talking about Sierra? And why are you bringing down Russell? And I hate to see, like, Future Hive. Future Hive is just composed of just 
a certain group of men mm -hmm. who think that this is cute and they're talking about Russell being weak. He's weak because he loves and honors his wife. He exactly. loves God. He uh, is taking care of a kid that's not his. And it's not, and he's not trying to be uh, Future's, baby Future's father. Right. He's just, a, as a father or a mother, right? And if your kid's in a different home, you would want the step parent to treat your child with love. Mm -hmm. You want him to ignore your son and be mean? No, he, he treats him with love, so I don't understand the problem. To, Future. Future. Stop. Let it go, Future. Shut up. Just keep making the hits. Like, let this go. Please. You have 20 other kids. What, what, why don't you worry about them? Exactly. Why you never hear about your other baby mama? I seen a funny interview, though, where Nessa from Hot 97 asked him, why won't he just settle down with the baby mothers? You know what this fool said? <laughs> he said, if I settle down with one of my baby mothers, the other one's going to get upset. So that's oh, why I don't choose gosh. them. I honestly, I honestly think he lost the love of his life, and that was Sierra. Because remember, they were engaged, and she right. got him like to a next level. Mm -hmm. And I think he's still upset about that, and I think he's a little bitter. But mm -hmm. just make the music. Make the music. He's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> so good man. He's a good man, Savannah. He's just in a situation. He's a good man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, man. No, mama, he married. Why don't you fuck him then, mom? That's Howard and I's presentation of Waiting to Excel, brought to you by Black Hollywood Live. Oh All right, gosh. let's get to our last segment, Shows to Watch. Please. Yes, this is a segment where we like to tell you because there's so much reality TV. We're now in the fall winter stage and there's so much coming on. Mm -hmm. We like to tell you guys what to watch, Howard. Yes, so the Braxtons are back. They're coming Ooh. back in March, so you don't have to wait that long. They took a little hiatus. You know, some of the sisters weren't on there, and yeah. then they had some fill-ins with some crazy reality stars like um, Natalie Nunn, and then Phaedra was on there randomly. So random. It was just random people, but now all six Braxtons are back, and they have a promo. So take a look and listen. Back to life. Ooh. Back to reality. Back Ooh. to life. Yeah. Back to use them the vocals. Family, back to <laughs> hey. All five sisters are back. Oh. Old School Braxton's brand new season premieres this March on WeTV. Yeah. Okay. Mama Evelyn gonna make sure all five of them girls is getting all a check. Y'all got to be there. <laughs> back to life. Back to reality. Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of our show. Exactly. Okay, that was a great way to end this. Great way. Perfect. Yes. Thanks, Braxton. Thanks, Tony. Thank you know, I love you, you girl. Ooh, I love Tony Braxton. I actually just watched the Tony Braxton movie on Lifetime. Oh, yeah. It's it was really good. good. I it love the good. Braxtons. That's awesome. We might got to use that in there, uh, baby. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about that. Shout out to the Braxtons. All right, kids. Thank you for joining Howard and I on this another crazy ride on Back to Reality. Before we head out of here, Howard, tell the peeps where they can find you out on social media. Yes, you can find me on Twitter. Instagram and Facebook at Howard the Third. And then I also do the after show for Growing Up Hip Hop LA on our sister channel, After Buzz TV, on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yes, guys, you can find me on all social media at Kiki Boom Boom. And on After Buzz TV, our sister station, I do the Black, Ho Black Hollywood, okay, <laughs> Black Ink Chicago panel with my crew. And we may have a special guest this Wednesday. I don't want to confirm it yet, but I just want to say you guys may want to stay tuned because he's really fine. Like, fine, fine. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, uh, make sure you follow Black Hollywood Live. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We will see you guys next week. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio. Instagram me at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. Hollywood Redefined. The views expressed here are those of the whole song and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.